Welcome back everybody. Gaming Grandpa here playing Hotel Transylvania Scary Tale Adventures. Now this is going to be my first video. However, I did create a couple more before this and I messed them up and I had to delete them. So this is going to be my first um, video and that's why a lot of my achievements are done. I just wanted to kind of briefly tell you what the game's about. There's three stories. The first two stories have five chapters each, and you get an achievement for each chapter you complete, and then you get one for completing the story, along with cards and different things like that. Now, I'm currently on the last story, which has three chapters, and I'm on the third chapter, so I'm going to do a complete playthrough of this chapter and unlock a few achievements as I get done. Now, I finished the, um, this one here is I'm playing the story I've never seen present, and as you can see, I finished chapter two and chapter one which is this one. Now, healthy, throughout the, the game, you can unlock a, another complete heart. To do so, you have to complete, or you have to collect three vials, and each vial will give you a quarter of a heart. So basically, I need 12 vials throughout the game, and I collected my last one, and that's why I got that achievement. Most of these achievements don't pop until you complete the actual game. There's the second story, which is Little Red Riding Boo, or it could be first. You have a choice in which one you want. You know, now, Chapter 5, Chapter 4, oh that's from getting all the cards. You, each chapter has three cards that you can collect and you'll see that when I'm playing this and I got all of them. So basically you just get them for completing the story and collecting the cards and whatnot. You know, and then there's also coins you can collect and unfortunately I have to play through. Now the Frank pieces, that one is a little different. I. I got lucky I collected them all in that one and evidently I missed them in the red writing story so I'm gonna have to play a few of them over to find Frank's parts I didn't even realize that was an achievement <laughs> it's kind of crazy but anyway like I said just playing through the game will get you a lot of the achievements now there are some different achievements that you have to get and I'm gonna talk about that here in just a second yeah, collecting all the coins. I haven't collected all the coins from any of these, but the good news is, is you can replay the missions once you get done with the game. You can go back and replay them. Get all the cards. Hopefully I'll get that one here pretty soon. Buy all the cards in the shop. I have a couple more left to buy. Each chapter has a shop that you can buy cards. There's usually eight that you can buy and with the coins that you collect. And I have, I think, two more cards left to buy and I should be getting them also during this one. And then master collectors from not only buying all the cards in the shop, but finding all the cards from each level too. There's that one I missed. I was telling you about them to complete the game. So it's been kind of a fun little game. Sometimes I wish I could skip through some of the cutscenes, but you know, unfortunately I cannot. Basically, Drac is telling stories to those two. And you either play as Marva, his daughter, or you play as Drac. And I, it's it's kind of fun, really. But once again, it's a kid's game. And sometimes kid's games can get really annoying, especially when you're like, oh my god, I played through this level three times already. Can I just please skip all the cutscenes? And unfortunately, you can't. All right. Now, real quick, if you hear that, I'm sorry. I'm moving my mic over to this side. When I play Xbox, I'm facing the different direction. And when I'm putting my manager on computer, it's the other direction. So hopefully you can hear me better now. All right. The Emperor's a Revelation. Let's split up. The doctor and the professor took different paths, so they'd have a better chance of escaping the palace alive. All right. And there's never anything behind me. Now, you'll collect these, and you can see... Oh, for crying out loud, I forgot. Ah. Uh, Come get me. Uh. Once they set in motion, they don't detour from it. <laughs> All right, you collect these. I have 23, as you can see. Yeah. Yeah. 
Done with it. Oh well. Wow, I only had one left to kill him. That's funny. Alright. Then you'll notice they're different color coins. Greens are worth one, reds are five, and then the yellows are worth ten, I think it is. And when you see these, you got to break them and they give you a coin. fell off the edge. The bad thing about that is it takes you back to the last checkpoint, but all the coins and cards and anything you've collected and all the enemies are not there any longer, so it's really not that bad. The worst thing about this game is the camera angles. There we go. And I got health. Good. Okay. I always check behind everything before I leave. Check up on top of everything. Basically, using your D-pad, you can switch the different powers that you unlock early in the game. This one gives me super strength. Otherwise, those guys would take six hits each. But luckily, they only take three if you have your strength. Didn't need it, but that's all right. All right, here we go. And I die. <laughs> um, I think you're on the page because it didn't happen that way. You'll die quite a lot in this game. But as you can tell, I have a red heart and I have a yellow heart. The yellow heart's the ones that you have to collect. Remember that healthy elixir achievement? Whoa, this is new. And I didn't get any points for or coins, so I'm 
wondering what's going on with that. That's never happened before. Enemies have never been back. Not gonna happen again. All right. I don't know what that did. Oh, okay. Well, I had to go over there. Sometimes it's hard to figure out which side you got or where you have to go, what path. And there's other times when you must take all the different paths to collect everything. All right. Now, there's going to be coins up on this wall, too. should have been all of them and you'll know when you complete the level if you missed any and it's really kind of frustrating Also, they'll follow you around too. Once you unlock them, they'll follow you. Like I said, before you leave, I mean, you can go back to any area, but you always want to make sure that you... <laughs> oh my goodness. Like I said, you'll die a lot. Now, you notice I have a green key that I collected. Those chests aren't the green ones. You'll see, I'll come to it pretty soon. At least I thought I would. I am getting kind of more concerned about that key here, about the chest. I didn't see it anywhere in there. Be careful, Professor Mavis.
<laughs> it's kind of easy to avoid hitting them or avoid them hitting you. It's kind of too easy. Oh great, now I got these suckers. Oh cool, and a lock without having to do a semi-boss. Alright. Yeah, anyway, just check, double check, triple check. Make sure there's nothing hiding that you have to break. I don't need the health, but... I don't... I gotta get up there. Double check and triple check this before you move on. Because they can be anywhere, these coins, in these present things. Now, each level has a different, like some's flowers, some's rocks. You know, you'll see them because they stand out. Pumpkins, I mean. <laughs> get penalized for not picking them up either. I think I got all of the collectibles. I don't see any money or whatever you call it anywhere else. All right. Got them all. <laughs> 